Hi, my name is Yvonne Onakame Tagine, and I am the poet in residence for Five Cowries Initiative. I'm so excited to talk to you today about the project that we're working on with the young students. First of all, I want to describe the project to you, and then I'll go uh, a bit deeper into it. The project has two parts. Is it in my hands? Yes, it's in my hands. So first, as you know, you've been sent Ankara and various art supplies to give to your students. And what the students are going to be um, thinking about and uh, and creating art about is this two-part this two part question one is it in your hands so is it in your hands you're going to encourage your students whether it's via oceans via an oceans of consciousness free rides or talking to them writing you're going to figure out um, what they see in their community that they don't like any problem any issue anything that they would like to change they would like to be different it can be something that affects maybe just them or just their road or just their area it can be something that affects their locality or their their state the whole country, the whole continent, the whole world, it's up to them, right? So you want to encourage them to think about, ah, if things, if you could change things, like if there's something that you don't like, what don't you like? What would you, what don't you like in your community, in your area, be it uh, water scarcity or lack of clean water or um, electricity, not having an, enough electricity um, to just to live, to do homework, to be able to just carry on everyday activities. It could be something about having bad roads in their area. It could be uh, not liking bullying, you know, seeing one student bully another and not liking seeing that kind of behavior. It can be really anything that they, that they see that they don't like in their area or in the world. So that's the first part, right? And then the second part is, Yes, it's in my hands. And this is the part where they take that problem or that issue and they now begin to envision, okay, this is how I would change it. This is how, if it's if it's truly in my hands, it's in my hands, this is how I would change it. This is how I would like to see it, see things be different. And in either part of this, is it in my hands or it's in my hands, that's where they have the 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 arts that's where they can use their art supplies to express themselves both you know using the paper the um the ankara the pens uh pencils whatever markers glue whatever art supplies they have to express themselves and they can have their poetry as well to talk about their ideas and what it is they see that they don't like and how they would like to change it so you a lot of what your role will be will be of course to encourage them to let them know that their ideas and their perspective is important and to just really truly be a support as they use art to express their ideas and let them know it's okay to be an individual it's okay to utilize um it's okay to to speak whatever language they want to speak be creative and to use whatever ideas come to mind and however they want to use the ankara is up to them they can make I don't know, they can make a hat, you know, they could draw, they could create like a paper plate and create some kind of art on top of it. They could, um, they could make a mask, um, you know, they could make a mask. They can do whatever it is. There's so many things that they could, that they could do to express themselves. Um, and it's just up to you to encourage, encourage them to be creative and to do whatever it is that makes sense for their idea. Uh, the intention of this project is really to encourage the creativity of students, really to, to encourage them and to, to let them know what they think matters, how they look at the world matters, their opinions matter, like the things that them seeing things Things in their community community that they don't like this is about empowering them to envision a different a different way for things to be and to write it down to create art about it and to let them know that what they think matters and so that's that's the intention behind the project and it's going to be up to you to figure out what works best for your students so for instance if you have class if you're in in physical classrooms with your students you can go through a lesson plan and exercise and have them you know write for write for a few minutes about uh, whatever issue they want to write about you can have them draw in with you you can have them talk about their their project and to continue to create that could work if you're meeting in person 
if you're not meeting in person, then you're going to have to tailor it to suit them. So if you're dropping off maybe some paper lesson plans, then you're going to have to write out step by step what it is they're going to do. It's really up to you because you know your students the best to figure out what's the best way to present this uh, project to them for them to complete it, given you know everything that's going on in the world right now and not everybody has access to physical instruction. If you have any questions about how best to share this project with your students, please do talk to me. Um, we can figure it out together. But I really want you, you're the one who knows your students the best. And once I hear from you about, okay, well, I have access to my students, but only via phone and WhatsApp for right now, then I can talk to you about, okay, here's a way that you can express to them what to do. So you might, for instance, want to compose a, compose a voice note where you expre express the steps of the art project to them so they can do it on their own and they can maybe snap photos and send it to you via WhatsApp. That's just an idea. So if you, if you have any challenges in terms of how to engage with your students, given everything that's happening with lockdown and quarantine and all of that, please feel free to reach out to me so we can brainstorm and figure out the best way to work with, um, your students. I'm very open to helping with that um, so we can figure that out together. Um, at the end of this project, this project is going to be shared in public spaces in Lagos as well as well as, well as via Instagram and YouTube and Facebook and all of that. So these projects are really going to be able to go far and travel far and that's a really exciting thing. So that's, that's a bit about the project. We really want to make sure, like, encourage your students, encourage your students, let them know that what they think matters how they look at the world matters, their voice matters. They don't have to be like anybody else in terms of their project or their idea. It's completely up to them to express themselves via poetry and express themselves via, you know, visual art using the Ankara and the art supplies to create to create what it is they want to create. We really want to make sure that we, you know, give them a space to feel free and to have fun and to share their ideas and their perspectives. That's really a, a large part of the, the intention of this project to really give them a chance to be creative and think and share their ideas. And another part of this project actually has to do with you as educators. So just as the students are thinking about these issues, just as the student, students are thinking about these issues, is it in my hands? What is it in my area that I, or my, my area, my country that I don't like and that I would like to change? And then also, um, yes, it's in my hands. This is how it would be if I was the one in charge. This is how I want it to be. This is my vision of a beautiful future. Um, I want you to also do this. So just as they're thinking of your, just as your students are thinking about these issues, I want you as educators to also be thinking about these issues and to also create art about this. Mm -hmm. The only difference is you're not going to be doing the visual part. You're only going to be doing the written part. I really want to hear your ideas and answering these, this question of what's going on in your area or, your, or the world in, in Nigeria that you don't like, and then talking about this is how I want it to be. This is this is the change that I, this is truly the future that I want. This is how I want things to be. Yes, it's in my hands. Write a 20, a 20 line or more poem addressing those issues. So you'll also be doing that work a alongside with your students. That way um, you really will be able to understand what ideas and questions, what, what questions they might be having as they're going through it. Um, and that's also going to be if that's also going to be a part of the, the public exhibition of um, of this project. Like this project is about many things. One, what do students think? What do students feel? What are their perspectives? And um, with creative tools, how would they express themselves and how what is the future that they want? What is the world that they want? And using art as a space for them to express themselves. Another part of this project is teachers. What do teachers think? Teachers are the ones who, teachers spend a lot of time with students and in a lot a lot of the time they might spend more time with students than some of students' family members, depending on if those family members are working. So teachers spend teachers spend a significant amount of time with their students and um, this project is also about what do teachers think? What do teachers feel? How do teachers look at the world? What would they like to be different? Um, and incorporating that in terms of how we're thinking about 
creativity and education. It's, it's very important to know what students think and it's also very important to know what teachers think and using the arts to express that we want to really show um, a different and deeper uh, side of education from people who are in education, literally getting educated and also um, sharing educational tools and resources with their students. Please, of course, both both with you writing your own poem in terms of is it in my hands, it's in my hands, but as well as in conversation with your students, please remember all of what we've been talking about through the the first video that I sent, uh, the first video that I created. If you know how if you know how to tell the truth, you know how to write poetry, as well as the second video, writing the missing story. Feel free to go back and review those videos about poetry and storytelling and take all of those lessons that you learned in writing your poems and your oceans of consciousness and sharing your poems with uh, with each other, take those lessons and those memories and in, infuse and include that into what you share with your students. You taking those lessons that you've been learning about, about poetry and storytelling and sharing it with your students and taking that wisdom and allowing it to be a part of how you teach poetry and storytelling is of course going to help your students. That's what, you know, that's, one of the big parts of learning more about poetry and storytelling is it makes you a better poet and it also makes it easier for you to teach uh, to teach poetry and storytelling. So as I've said before, creativity is not a spectator sport. So you taking part in creativity and writing is going to help you now teach your students how to how to tell their own stories and write poetry and please encourage them to know encourage them to know that their perspective is beautiful and important and they get to be creative and do whatever they want your support is very important um, let them know that they can go back and edit and add more and change their mind about their topic whatever they choose to do it's up to you to support them and create that space where they feel happy and safe to just write what they think and what they feel. Make sure you encourage your students to speak whatever language they want to speak. If they want to speak in pidgin, if they want to speak in Yoruba, Hausa, Igbo, like multiple languages, um, standard English, whatever they so choose. Encourage them to just share and talk in the way that's most natural to them. And, you know, if you're looking for maybe a warm-up exercise in terms of getting them to write, maybe students who haven't written before, who haven't written creatively before, feel free to, to remember the song lyric exercise that I shared with you. That song lyrics exercise where you take a lyric from your favorite song and you just you use that as the beginning of your own original poem. Um, so that's something that you can do with them because just about everybody has a, has a song that they love that they can think of just like that. So if you just take one little lyric that you like and then write from that, you can get people excited about writing before they even know that they're <laughs> writing poetry. So that's just an example of different things that you can add um, into your work with your students around poetry. Whatever lessons that or whatever exercises or lessons that we've done together around poetry and storytelling, feel free to adjust it and, and use it for um, a younger audience, for your, for your young students to get them excited and warmed up to begin to share to share their thoughts because you know sometimes sometimes writing and, and creating art is a bit like you know exercise you know it's a bit like sports so when you're going to go if you go if for instance if you go to the gym right you're not hopefully going to just start like pick race and just start running at full speed you're going to go you're going to stretch fast you know you're going to have some wata you're going to like warm your body up before you get into the deep like workout that you're going to do otherwise you know it's not it may not be as easy of a workout so with poetry you know just give them an opportunity to warm up if if it seems like it's it's a little hard for them to get started. Give them an opportunity to warm up and get into the exercise and they can just have fun and do whatever they want and be creative. That's it's about being creative, so there's no wrong or right way as long as they're addressing the issues at hand visually and in their poetry. That's perfect. So this is the project 
photos will be taken of uh, the children with their project and this will be a part of a display a public display that's in Nigeria and also online. So this is very, very exciting that we're going to have the opportunity to create this art and then share it with with Nigerians and with the world. So please feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions. Um, I'm here to answer those questions, anything that I can explain or clarify. Any concerns that you have or questions that you have, feel free to reach out to me and we can figure it out together. Thank you so much and you're amazing. Please have fun not only working with your students and encouraging them to create art, but you too have fun creating art and creating your own poem. I want to hear what you have to say as well. Both the work of students and teachers will be on public display in Nigeria and online. So this is very, very exciting. Thank you so much. I'm so excited to hear how things go. I'm here as a support um, for throughout the process. Please reach out to me either via, via the WhatsApp group or privately to talk about any things that might come up or to figure out to figure out anything that might need to be figured out along the way and throughout the process. So thank you so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. God bless you. Stay safe. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.